Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a ranked game from Haraka, who's playing Twisted Fate. And I am going to fast forward to the to the first uh, something like 12 minutes of this game. Because the game is pretty boring early game. To watch that is. Um, so they were actually trying to get uh, a gank on well, the enemy jungler, since they do not have a jungler of their own. And this is what often happens in ranked games. Uh, you try this thing that you've never done before, and then you fail hard at it. And now everyone's behind in minions and in experience and gold and whatever. Uh, because they tried this, uh, this gank, which obviously didn't work, because they couldn't find the... Uh, the Olaf, who is the jungler on the enemy team, as you can see. So this uh, first uh, 12 minutes is going to be all about farming, and both of them are farming, well, equally, I would say. So they're not really harassing each other at level 6. Uh, what's her face, uh, Caitlyn, is trying to get the TF with her ultimate, which wouldn't have wor worked anyway. But uh, she cannot even get it off because she takes two tower shots and then decides to... Uh, yeah, to run back, because obviously she cannot take a whole lot of tower shots at level 6. And let's start it here once again. So, the first 11 minutes in, I guess... Well... A lot shorter at least. I don't know. I cannot actually see the timer on how long I've been recording. So fortunately I don't have to do that again because I went through all of that and then basically decided that that was a little too much farming for my taste. So we are losing, uh, using the teleport here. And he's getting his first kill. Ramus comes after him. Or the mid comes after him as well. But stays all alone in this bush here. And gets killed for it. Yeah, Ramus not coming to, uh, to help out. Not the smartest thing to, uh, <laughs> to do running into uh, one of the traps. Of course he couldn't see the trap because it was in the bush, but it was kind of unfortunate. So, um, yeah, I was discussing this before, but he uh, picked Q and W to, uh, to level, and that's really the wrong ones if you want to go for attack damage and attack speed. What you really want to do is use W and E. Oh, he does have three levels in stack deck, so he just wasted two of them. That's, yeah, well, it's not good, but it's not as bad as skipping the whole stack deck uh, deck. Stack deck deck, sure, whatever. So the enemy actually getting something uh, working here. And this is actually a really strong team now, especially with the shield of uh, of Lux. That helps them out uh, immensely, I would say. And um, yeah, the enemy team now retreating because, well, they are coming in with a minion wave and a whole lot of champions. And they might actually be going for some other lane here, but we're not going to watch that. Unless it's really interesting. But our main interest is um, is what happens in the mid lane. So getting another nice uh, kill off, it was really a team effort, but uh, sure, why not? So, Oriana using her ultimate there. Oh. 
TF running into the one of the traps, this time one that he could actually see. And not getting the gold card once again. Getting the red card, which is good enough in this case, because it gives you a stun and he had nowhere to run. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good idea to uh, at least use a card other than blue card every now and then, but you really have to practice on getting the gold card. And yeah, the gold card is really the only one that can help you get kills. Uh, unless you have your whole team there, but well, then you don't even need a card. Now they have um, a stun and well, CC wise, they have a Twisted Fate with his gold card, and then um, Oriana with, I guess, not a whole lot. Well, her ultimate is kind of CC. Let's just put follow on him. I really has a stun, but that's that depends on her health and that of her opponent, so it's not really reliable. Doctor Mundo has a slow, and Zinzao is, I guess, king of the of this uh, this group because he has a pop up. But really, the Twisted Fate is, of course, the the best stun. Because you can reuse it if you're uh, if you're good with it. Stun works on uh, on these minions as well, on every minion except for the dragon and the baron. The rest you can stun if you want to, and they won't deal any damage to you anymore. So as you can see, the double uh, the Q really doesn't do a lot of damage, and you really shouldn't take it. Now oh, we're going to alt here, and. Getting a kill and getting a second kill. Very nice. It was 4v2, but still. Again, not uh, teleporting in, if I saw correctly, with uh, the gold card. But getting the two kills nonetheless, but that's because it was 4v2. And yeah, if this was a 2v2 situation, then you really need to have the gold card and you really need to practice that. As I said before, it's the only thing you really need to, to have. Oh, by the way, as this is a ranked game, I totally forgot. Uh, they actually had some bans and he gave them to me. So it was uh, Mordekaiser, Trindamir, Evelyn and Nocturne. And I guess Nocturne and Evelyn, I can totally see. Uh, the Mordekaiser, well, he is strong, but especially if you're planning to go uh, TF, then he's no problem. Because Mordekaiser, well, if you stun him, he cannot charge up his shield, and he just dies. And thereby, uh, low-level Mordekaisers really don't know how to... Uh, handle their uh, their skills and how to build up their shields correctly so yeah to me Mordecai is just one of those bands of well we have plenty more so you can only ban one of them getting a nice flash off here waiting until Ramus is all the way gone and actually escaping didn't expect that. I expected the Ramus to stay in the bush, but Ramus wanted to help. And now he gets killed, even though he has just escaped. Oh, yeah. Very lucky there. Should have gotten the gold card the first time. <laughs> Again with the gold card. It's, it's a real issue if you... Uh, if you want to have the perfect play, you really need the gold card a lot of the times. So that's what I guessed. He's going to help out here. Again, not the gold card. But in this case, again, getting the kill. So up to 7-0, which is not unusual for... Uh, 
for for uh, TF because TF can come in into any oh sorry into any uh, of the team fights <coughs> and just get a kill and normally we see people only getting kills in their own lane but TF can actually get kills in any lane it doesn't really matter and whether you get kills or assists that's well that's based on on the last hit skills of your uh, of your teammates I guess But in this case, yeah, he uh, he has some better last hit skills, so he got a lot of things done. A lot of kills and a lot of gold. So Dragon already gone. Don't know who took it. Yeah, there you see it again. The Q really doesn't do any damage, so you really shouldn't take it until you absolutely have to. Which is, I think, level 13... Or 12 I don't know yeah you it's level 13 and even then well I uh, I normally take it because I find it annoying that the little bar above it uh, is it, well it, if it appears I want to s level up one of my skills and um yeah but you really don't need to level it up at all so they did get uh, get killed here a little bit but they do get uh, four maybe five kills back five <laughs> unfortunately they lost two of the uh, the killing sprees so total of uh, 500 extra gold for the opponents because instead of 300 it's 400 for the one and it's 750 for the other so I guess it's 550 doesn't matter something like that but that's uh, well comparable to two extra kills So all in all, gold-wise, um, it's about the same, but, well, next fight will be better, hopefully.